Let's look at some more CDs. Hi hi everybody and welcome to the next part of a look at my CD collection. So we're going through my general CDs, we're on the, what are we, third set of, third shelf unit full, um, 125 CDs I think memory serves. Uh, I'm on the fourth set of 25-ish of those. Enough awful. Okay first up we have uh, the soundtrack to Dingo. By Michael Davis, Michael Davis, Miles Davis, and Michael Legrand. Uh, so I picked this up for my Miles Davis collection. It's not great, but it's good. It's, it's almost sort of background music jazz, but it's okay. Uh, I haven't shown any of these for a while. This is for Paul McCartney Archive Collection. Uh, these were the first releases, I think. Might be misremembering. I uh, got McCartney 2 which I enjoyed very much. Uh, Waterfalls was a song my dad had on singles, so I listened to that a number of times when I was young. Um, it's also got Coming Up on it, which is just a great, great song. Um, Temporary Secretary is on here as well, which is his first proper experimental song, really. That sort of led to the Fireman Project. So I was dropping the adverts uh, and on CD2 on this are uh, some live bits and b-sides and wonderful Christmas time various bits and bobs <coughs> and Band on the Run by Wings which is just a masterpiece I will probably get this on vinyl uh, yeah it's just an amazing album Band on the Run Jet uh, Bluebird and then let me roll it. Not as in it's not a great song, but it's a, sort of those of those three were really well known. And let me roll it's sort of well known. Uh, Mrs. Vanderbilt and 1985. I've never heard until I saw Paul McCartney live in 2010, I think it was, um, in Cardiff, and I instantly loved those songs. So was really thrilled to get the album and hear them. Uh, yeah, this was the first deluxe release thingy, and this one's really, they've sort of chucked everything in just the normal version on this one, which they didn't do on later releases. So the later releases just had one CD and a bonus CD. This has got those plus a DVD, if memory serves. Just trying to find the contents list. Yeah, so CD1 is the album, CD2 is nine bonus tracks, so that's for non-album singles, plus recordings from a one-hand clapping TV special. And then it has also got DVD, it's got all the music videos, album promo, the full one-hand clapping show, and various other bits as well. So yeah, you know, hour and 24 minutes of DVD extras. I wish they'd all carried on and done all of them like that for the smaller versions. Okay, this is basically I've got for completeness sake. This is Michael by Michael Jackson. Uh, so this was the posthumous album that was loads of new unfinished, or they've sort of completed unfinished tracks. Um, it's not very good. It's subsequently come out that some of these tracks don't even feature Michael Jackson. They've got sound alike singing them. Yeah, it's not great at all. Uh, this is Melanie C's The Sea. This is my favourite Melanie C album. It's really good. And um, there's one track on here that is the Bond theme that she never recorded. You see what I mean? But I can't remember which track it is. Might be Burn or Drown, but it might not be. But yeah, it's a really strong album. There are no hits from this or anything, but I highly recommend this album. Uh, this is Mark Owen's Green 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 Man. I think I picked up in a charity shop. Not a hundred percent. So this was his solo album he released. In, when was it? Two thousand and three. 
uh, around the time he was in Big Brother, or Celebrity Big Brother as it was. I always really liked the single song, but I've always liked his voice anyway. Um, but Child and Clementine and One Minute Warning, Two Minute Warning, whatever Minute Warning isn't on this. Ignore that. That must have been on the second album. Um, but yeah, both of those were singles I really liked. So I always intended to pick this up eventually. And eventually I did. Uh, this is Placebo's Once More Feeling, the singles 96 to 2004. I saw Placebo at um, Slane Castle. Uh, supporting Robbie Williams and really really liked him um, I just love Brian Brian Moloko is that his name? it is isn't it? I'm, I'm doubting it now because of Moloko the band but hopefully somewhere in here at level credits like... Molko that's why I'm doubting it Got to be careful showing you this because there's lots of nudity in the booklet. All very arty. But, um, I really like Brian Malko's voice. That said, this is the only placebo I've ever bought. Um, but it's Nancy Boy was sort of a breakthrough hit. Uh, Pure Mornings on this. Every You, Every Me. I just adore that song. Uh, Without You, I'm Nothing. This is the version with David Bowie on it as well. the only ones that leap out but it is a strong best of uh, this is Poison's Greatest Hits I had what was the album called can't remember what the album was called something to do with Scream I think but I can't remember what it was on cassette anyway the one that had Every Rose as it's fallen and um, Your Mama Don't Dance on it it's not look what the cat dragged in was it I don't think so anyway uh, I think that was their previous album. But I had that on cassette and liked it. So I thought I'd pick up the greatest hits on CD. So it's got those on it. Unskinny Bop. Nothing but a good time. Uh, yeah, sort of the hits. Best known tracks. Um, yeah, but it's, it's all right. This is Pretender's Greatest Hits. Love Pretenders, I've subsequently bought a box set with all their albums in. Um, but if you're not if you're not certain about Pretenders or you just want the singles, this is a really good place to start. Got everything you would want on it. And Prodigies with Fat of the Land, just a great album. It's got Smack My Bitch Up and Breathe and Firestarter, with the, obviously the big songs on this. Great album. It's one of my favourite albums ever. Decks and Drums and Rock and Roll by Propeller Heads. I've shown already the uh, re <sighs> anniversary. That's the word I was looking for. Reissue of this with extra tracks on it. But yeah, absolutely love that album. This is Pulp. His and Hers. Pulp, one of my favourite bands. Uh, this is where I got into them with his and hers. I saw them doing babies on TV, but I don't know what on. Um, don't think it was Top of the Pops, so I don't know what it was on. But I just loved that song, so bought the album. Definitely wasn't disappointed to listen to this a hell of a lot at university, because I only had, at the time, about 10 CDs. So listen to this a hell of a lot. Love that album. And of course they followed it up with Different Class, which is just amazing. Obviously Common People, which is one of the greatest songs ever written. Uh, Sorted for Ease and Whiz, Miss Shapes, Disco 2000, and Something Changed with the rest of the singles, but every track on here could be a single. This was the original release with the multiple covers. So there's a reissue. Let me find it. That's sort of the standard cover that is the cover for any later release. Um, but it's double sided and you can have anyone you wish. As the cover. But yeah, absolutely amazing album. I'm 
then we go to a bit more pulp. And this is, you'll see in a second once I put this away, this is Countdown, um, which is a sort of a best of their pre fame years. Uh, well, I say pre fame, I think fame was one of the. Oh no, it's Fire, it was one of the labels they on. Um, so it's 20 tracks. It sort of starts with nine, their 92 tracks and works backwards to their 1983 tracks. Um, much as, you know, as I say, Pop one of my favourite bands, but this album I've never enjoyed. It's got a couple of decent tracks on it, but it's just such a sea change between their early stuff and then um, his and hers. It's almost like they're two completely different bands, but yeah, you know, I haven't even bothered to get their earlier albums because of this. They're on my wish list. I've just never got round to it. Uh, following different class, they released This Is Hardcore, which is an underrated classic in my opinion. Uh, it's sort of the drugs album, if you like, you know, Jarvis got into cocaine in a big way. And that sort of informed the writing, but there's some really good stuff on here. Uh, Party Hard Dishes, the title track This Is Hardcore, A Little Soul, it's a oh, beautiful track. Help the Aged was the first single. It was sort of a bit more of a lighter side. They even played it on Going Live or Live and Kicking or whatever it was at this time. Uh, yeah, just strong album. And then their last studio album was We Love Life, which unfortunately didn't really do much, but it's really strong. It's produced by Scott Walker, which is enough of a reason to love it anyway. But, um, I mean, Sunrise, which ends the album, is just beautiful and to hear it live is just amazing not that i've ever seen them live sadly but you know, live versions are on dvds and things um the biggest single from this was bad cover version which i heartily recommend you check out the video it's done as a start sort of a live aid or band aid ish recording but it's all look alike he's of famous people singing it's really good And then they released The Greatest Hits, which I picked up. There's a couple of new tracks on here, or one at least. Uh, Last Days of a Minor Strike. Last Date of a Minor Strike is a new track. Um, and it's got Razzmatazz on it, which was a single that was released in bet between... It was sort of when they signed to Ireland. So it was before His and Hers, but it wasn't on His and Hers. But yeah obviously recommend that and then a few years later they released the appeal sessions over two cds uh this sort of covers throughout their career but is mainly the island years um it's really good basically <laughs> okay uh back to robbie was robbie in this video i think he was no he was in the last one wasn't he Answers and Robbie Williams, this is the original release of I've Been Expecting You, his second album. Uh, as I said, this is the original release, so it has the track Jesus in a Camper Van on it, which was dropped from subsequent releases due to copyright reasons. Um, it's convoluted. It's something to do with Loudon Wainwright III, but he'd already based it on another song, or vice versa. And the sort of a third party sued um and it was replaced with it's only us which is a song i absolutely love it was a double a side with she's the one originally it was a track he did for an advert um so they stuck that on there instead of jesus in a camper van but as i say this is the original release with it included uh this is the best of rem this was the early years so this is the irs years uh so the sort of a best known songs on this Radio Free Europe uh, the one I love it's the end of the world as I know it and I feel fine but until recently basically the two REM greatest hits were all I had of theirs but I've picked up a few more bits as you may have seen uh, this is the Master Plan by Oasis so this I put at time of release so I've got an itchy nose <laughs> Um, this was their B-Sides compilation, 
And a lot of their B-sides were better than their A-sides, so this is a really strong album. This is mid your Orchestrated. I did show this when I got it, I believe. Or did I? No, because uh, I haven't shown this. I've shown you the vinyl. Well, I've got the signed vinyl of this. But that came out after the CD. So the CD came first, so I don't think I did show it. Um, so this is mid your This has only came out last year. 2017. Um, I think the CD came out 2017 and the vinyl 2018. It's mid your doing orchestral versions of a lot of his songs, both solo and Ultravox. Um, I, I think I have mentioned it is good, but his voice isn't what it was. This is Oasis is standing on the shoulder of giants, as I mentioned previously. I can't remember if it was on this part. Might have been on the previous part. Um, it's sort of where I gave up on Oasis originally. It's not a very good album. It has its moments. Uh, Go Let It Out was a, was a single. I can't remember what else was a single. But yeah, it wasn't a very good album. Um, biggest problem was it was after Liam's voice changed. After he had his teeth knocked out in that fight in... Is it Denmark or Norway or somewhere? His voice changed and he started sounding a bit kermit -y And... They went downhill rapidly since then. Uh, finally for this part, uh, I don't think I've shown any Queen previously on these videos. They must be in different shelves, but on this set of shelves we have their first two albums, Queen and Queen 2. Uh, I now have these on these CDs, the 40th anniversary box set CDs and on coloured vinyl as part of the coloured vinyl box set, which I have unboxed on the channel. Um, Queen is my favourite Queen album. Queen 2, not so much. But I won't say too much because that is going to be a video in the future. Queen album ranking. Anyway, that's it for this part. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on another part. Thanks. Bye. <music>